All right, let's go to Siren Care then. Presenting for Siren Care are CEO Ran Ma, COO Hank Yan Schulten, and CTO Jeff Fu. Take it away. So, hi everyone. My name is Ran Ma, and I'm the CEO and co founder of Siren. At Siren, we create smart textiles to empower people because we believe your clothes are the only wearable you need. And our first product is an injury detecting sock to help diabetics prevent amputations. Because right now, there are over 400 million diabetics, and about 40% are unable to feel pain. So a small injury can become an ulcer, gangrene, and even amputation. For the diabetic, that means a loss of mobility and independence. But there's a huge financial cost as well. Each year in the US alone, the cost of diabetic foot ulcers and amputations is over $17 billion a year. That's more expensive than the five most costly forms of cancer. But data can save lives. Research has shown that temperature monitoring can reduce ulcers by up to 72%. Right now, people use this device. They have to manually measure the bottom of their feet and hand calculate the difference. Bat siren. We've built a continuous foot monitor that fits into the everyday life of the user. All they have to do is put on a sock like they would every day. Our socks know when you wear them due to an integrated human touch sensor. They turn on, search for your phone, and connect automatically. Now, let me introduce you to Judy. Judy has been living with diabetes for seven years. She wants to stay active. But she has numbness in her feet. And she's worried about injuries that she cannot find. Judy is wearing our socks right now. Would you like to show our socks? Switch the app. What you're seeing right now is a live reading from Judy's feet. For the first time, real time temperature monitoring feet is not only possible, but live streamed on stage. Our socks are comfortable. And seamless to wear. Right, Judy? <laughs> They're also machine washable, machine dryable, and do not need to be charged. Our sensors are incorporated into the fabric of the sock, and the data is sent to the Siren app. As you can see, we're monitoring six spots on Judy's feet. These six spots are the highest points of pressure and the most common sites of injury. We can also see Judy's foot health over time. And because we do continuous monitoring, we're able to reduce false positives. We also have a foot health score, and we know exactly how often Judy has been wearing our socks. Vulnerable diabetic feet need to be protected by socks as often as possible. We also remind Judy to do a daily foot check. But as you know, Judy has been on her feet all week looking around Eureka Park. That's a lot of walking. So let's take a closer look at her feet. Oh no, we have a hot spot. That means an injury has been detected. Judy, you need to reduce activity. No more Eureka Park. You need to check your feet. If the problem continues, you should reach out to your healthcare professional. But don't worry, Judy's fine. We just wanted to show you what an app could be. Thank you, Judy. Can we get an applause for her? She's 72 years young this year. Switch the presentation. So, our socks are powered by Siren Smart Yarn. We embed electronics directly inside of yarn to create flexible, washable fabric that can be mass produced on standard weaving machines. Our yarn is designed for manufacturing. We create the electronic strand, then we wrap it to make yarn. Next, we weave it into a sock and finally connect it to a PCB and battery for the finished product. We are $30 per month B2C and $75 per month B2B. And every six months, a new box of socks arrives at the user store. And who doesn't love brand new fresh socks? We're shipping our pre orders this summer, and in the future, we're adding additional sensors such as pressure, moisture, Bluetooth, and MCU to expand past diabetes. 
My background is biomedical engineering, and I used to design medical devices for the army to regenerate the human face. Jeff, our CTO, has over 10 years' experience in manufacturing and has shipped multiple hardware products. Hank Young, our COO, has set up the world's largest group of textile manufacturers with clients such as Primark, Inditex, and Zara. So remember that future where I said your clothes will be the only wearable you need. If you want to find out how Siren makes that possible, come visit our booth or stop by www.siren.care. Thank you. And Mark will do a personal demo for the judges. Let's uh, start with questions.、Uh, what What other wearable applications are you thinking about、um, after the diabetic foot? So the possibilities are endless, but due to our personal backgrounds, we're very focused in healthcare, such as pressure,、um, pressure ulcer monitoring and UTI infections. We think in chronic disease and aging. That's where wearables can really make a difference. Prevention. My parents are both doctors. They cut people open every day. But I think there's so much we can do before they have to see people like my pa- my parents. Ron, where are you manufacturing your yarn and then knitting it together into the sock? Where are you doing your manufacturing? In China, near Shanghai. Jeff is doing all of that. I understand you own some IP in this process, but there's a lot going on here. Tell me specifically what part of the process and the product that you own the patents on. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Great. So <laughs> I understand you have IP in this process, right? But there's a lot going on from the product to the manufacturing. Right. What product or what part of that do you own the patents in? So we actually filed three patents so far. We filed a patent on the sock as a system, and also on the manufacturing, and then also interpretation of the algorithms. We've also filed for a full patent in the U.S. and also a PCT. We're、so、very focused on manufacturing. Of the manufacturing part, there's a, there's a lot of processes going in there. You said it works on current machines. Yes. Right. Exactly. So with the IP that you have in that space, or you applied for rather. Yes.、Right? Can that be licensed to other people? Can can you definitely? Definitely. It's licensable. Um, but we're very focused on getting to market first, and showing that we can conquer diabetic foot ulcers, and showing people the power of smart textiles. Right now, smart textiles still are seen as a gadget. We're solving a real problem, and after we conquer this market, we're happy to license. To, to penetrate the market, who are you? Who are you reaching out to? Who are you trying to convince of the merits of your product and your invention? So we were just published in Diabetes Forecast, which is the national magazine of the ADA. Did a four-page spread on what makes a great sock. We we're featured in there. We've also been working with D Life, Two Diabetes, multiple diabetes organizations. They have communities and they talk about new products. Diabetics really care about their health. Judy is very active and reads about these things. And we're very focused on getting the word out there organically, online, and through communities. The module on the socks is that where the battery is stored,、yes. and is, the, is it what connectivity standard are you using? Are you using Bluetooth? Bluetooth Low Energy,、okay. exactly. And what is the battery life in that module? Two months、okay. for everyday wear per sock. Now you, you mentioned that you get another one in a, another pair in a month.、Uh, it, they don't wear out. You just have two pairs of socks. So we actually each box has seven pairs of socks,、mm-hmm. so one a day. And then every six months, replace all your socks, and that's because for diabetics, good foot care requires you to change your socks every three to six months, so not getting infections or any thin areas on your socks.、Okay. And do they come in different colors? Black and white, and also we're doing holiday colors. What color do you want? Also,、uh, when the socks come, they don't keep the socks. Do the diabetes? We recycle the socks every six months. You recycle it, so it goes to somebody else. Is that okay? No, we recycle them, we remove them, and put them、okay. away. Yeah. We don't give them to other people again. <laughs> That's not very hygienic. <laughs> What is your next application beyond diabetes going to be? It's a very good question. I think、um, pressure monitoring for、um, pressure ulcers is a pretty big market.、Um, ur- urinary tract infection also is very interesting, and also the sales channels we're using to sell to those markets—they're adjacent to each other. So we can use a lot of the connections we already have. Besides medical, what other industries do you see that this could be? Applicable towards fitness, fashion, military, home, AR, VR, possibilities are endless. Is is your thread technology washable? Can I just take it and throw it in my washing、yes. machine and my dryer? Yes. Can、That's、you wash your、cool. normal socks? That's pretty cool.、It's, we want to make it as clothing-like as possible. Dry, dryer or do I need to hang? Dryable.、Them? You don't need to charge it. You don't charge your dumb socks. You don't need to charge your smart socks. And, and how accurate are your positives? Do you get false positives? I mean, 
So we do continuous monitoring, so we're keeping false positives as low as possible. We're doing testing with Dr. Reisman at UCSF, so we're really working on getting that as good as possible for our patients. Do you have stats now about how accurate you are? We're still doing initial trials. Do you need regulatory approval? We are a tool and not a diagnostic. We tell Judy when is the right time to see the doctor, and the doctor makes the diagnosis and provides the care. And you have different pricing in your B2B and B2C models. Which do you expect to take hold and really, how do you expect to go to market and right. address the end consumer? What's so we have a tiered approach to enter the market. We're starting with B2C because we don't have a barrier to entry. And we are shipping this summer. We are in talks with multiple health plans, both small regional health plans and large national health plans. It's a huge problem for them, $20,000 per ulcer. In the long run, I think the B2B is where the money is. What if I want to wear shoes like yours and your socks? <laughs> I don't think diabetics are supposed to wear shoes like mine. <laughs> I don't think Judy wears these shoes. <laughs> and uh, who, who owns the data? Uh, we own the data right now, yes. Any final questions? All right, sounds good. Give it one more round of applause for Siren Care. Thank one you. One more round of applause for Judy. <laughs> All right, let's bring up our final company. Um, Judges, what did you think of Siren? I think they need more than black and white. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've had a lot, of, time, right? a lot of friends um, with diabetes, and I know what a problem it can be, and any technology that can automatically tell them if something's wrong before it becomes a problem, it's just a wonderful thing. Look, it's a huge market, and right now, all a diabetic can do is prick their finger and put it into a blood test. So anything that helps with diabetes care going forward uh, it's a giant market and a great opportunity. And I have diabetes, so. I, I'm very curious what other industries it can, it can be applied towards and if the company is, is ready to, to address those. For instance, we had the VP of engineering from Ford on the stage as a judge yesterday. And he was extremely interested in, in having smart yarn technology in their automobiles. Hopefully they've, they've talked in the intervening 24 hours. So. And for all of these companies, they need to start thinking about their international intellectual property strategy because every one of them has applications and sales markets overseas. So that's something they all should all be thinking about. Wendell, you were also bringing up some of the, the, go, the questions about go-to-market. I mean, did you feel like they answered this question and you, you feel confident in that strategy? Well, look, I think uh, out of the box, getting penetration, the direct-to-consumer is a good way to go. I think in the end, they're going to have to go through healthcare providers um, and hopefully they can make that B2B pricing stick. Uh, what, what color should they uh, do next? <laughs> there are so many, that, that's not my particular expertise. <laughs> One color for every color, color pair of pants you've got. Well, I, I have striped socks on right now. <laughs> Wendell has black socks on. Well, I mean, I, don't, I guess <laughs> judging by this sample, there is not yeah. a need for more of the color. Our scientific sample says that, no, you're good with the black and white. <laughs> Um, I think we're good to go. Are we good to go? 